Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So as you can see, I have three knives on the table and more specifically, these are flipper style knives. So I use a flipper tab to deploy them. And I've handled these a few, not a few, but actually a lot uh, ever since owning them. And I've always wondered what it would be like if they had some thumb studs or if I was to get them you know, professionally modded since I don't have the tooling myself and just get some thumb studs in here. So instead of doing the expensive way of getting thumb studs on these knives, uh, I noticed on Instagram, some people had these little thumb studs that you actually install onto the blade itself. And so I just went on to Amazon and just kind of did a little bit of research to find out if I could find some temporary uh, thumb studs just to get a feel for the thumb studs on a specific blade that I've been wanting thumb studs on and I landed on these so these are the EDC fans thumb stud replacements now I got the three pack you can specifically get you know brass stainless steel or they even have a black coated one and what's really great about these is that they're affordable uh, again got them off Amazon I'll leave a link down below where you guys can pick up a set of these or just a single set but this is just a really really cheap way to put thumb studs on a knife that doesn't have thumb studs so one thing i did notice is the black coated one actually comes with a black coated screw so it actually all ties in and matches which is really nice and then you get a allen wrench with each each one so again if you don't even have tools it comes with the tools i think these are just really really neat and i'm anxious to get them onto the blades I have three of them since I have three different varieties or colors and that way we can see what these look like on a knife and if they function and this and that so we will open up we'll do the stainless steel one first and one thing I did notice on these thumb stud replacements or add-ons really is that one side actually has a textured section so that's obviously going to go where if you're left-handed that's another great thing. If you're left-handed, you can put it on your dominant hand side and vice versa. So again, just a little extra grip and it actually guides you of what side to put this onto the blade. So let's take the stainless steel one and we will put it on the Kershaw Tumbler. This is a really, really good knife, super smooth. And like I said before, just always wanted to know what it would be like if it had a thumb stud. So we're actually gonna just take the blade here and I'll, there's a nice little slit here now this is three millimeters thick or one eighth inch thick so it won't fit on every blade obviously so make sure you check your knife before purchasing one of these but I'm gonna put it I guess as close as I can to the scales or not too close but I guess we can put it in the middle so I'm just gonna put it right there that way we have clearance going around the front of the knife it comes with the screw little tiny screw and then you have your threaded section on the other side so we're just going to put this in really quick see what it looks like and if it functions properly and I have a few other knives in my collection where again curious to see what thumb studs would be on them but blade stocks too thick which is fine I can maybe always mod these to make the slit just a little bit bigger but we'll see see how this functions so I'm just gonna do snug nothing crazy I don't want to strip the screws or really puncture the blade or scratch it but there it is that's what it looks like easy to install that only took a couple seconds and obviously if this does get in the way we can adjust it so let's give it a flick and there you go, just like a, a regular thumb stud. It's the best way I can describe it, but really, 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 really nice. Let's see if we can spidey flick it. No problem. I gotta say, I'm already really liking these. Super easy to install, and I'll definitely have to give them a real test. So I'll pocket these three knives for a while, and I can always update you guys on how these are handling the usage really really like it I like the fact that I can spidey flick it too and this knife's already super smooth so 
doesn't really affect it other than appearance wise it is a little bulky and I'm wondering if I could slim it down a bit again I could always mod these and they're cheap so if I do end up damaging them or I just need more I'll just spend a couple bucks and get a replacement so really quick I'm gonna add the brass one to the backlash and then the black one to the black bladed chat box All right, so here they are all installed. I gotta say this one looks pretty good on the chat box here. Matches really well. And let's check out the function. So I can flick that with the thumb stud. Spidey flick it, no problem. And it, what I really like about these, it doesn't, you don't have to drill any holes or anything. So it's just kind of a, uh, again, like the name says, replacement thumb stud. So. If something happens to it, easily replaceable. And then we can check out the backlash. Obviously, I'd probably reconsider just ordering a stainless steel one just to match with the blade. But functions good with the thumb flick and then the spidey flick. No problem. I think these are really, really neat. And again, if you guys are considering putting thumb studs on one of your knives, and I think this is the cheapest and easiest way to go. And it doesn't doesn't look too bad. I could always I could always customize the thumb studs as well. But my main knife I really wanted to get thumb studs on was this tumbler. Just because the flipper action was kind of getting old. I mean it functions super, super good. Very smooth. Highly recommend this knife. Uh, I'll leave a link down below to all these knives if I can. And those links all support the channel super easy to install and yeah you get your spidey flickability on the knife that you weren't able to do it on before so there they are there are the EDC fans thumbstead replacements so yeah just let me know down below if, if you guys have experienced these or have them on your knives and how they hold up over time I'll be doing my little test runs on these and I'll keep you guys updated but yeah, there they are. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys. On the next one.